when we move from the national context to an international context, it automatically means that complexity increases. And this means diverse cultures, diverse languages, and ever-changing societies around us. Another thing which increases is competition. We research-intensive universities compete over the best researchers and also over the best students. The University of Helsinki's vision is to act for the best of the world with the power of knowledge. We know that global challenges are far too big to be solved in, by one university only. And that is why we need university alliances to tackle big global challenges. And also one challenge from the point of view of the University of Helsinki is that because societies are changing rapidly and the whole globe is changing rapidly around us, we need to constantly develop our teaching and research practices in order to match the needs of the society around us. Una Europa is the best possible way for us to tackle competition and responding to global challenges, because any global challenge requires collaboration among the 11 universities comprising Una Europa. And I truly, be, I truly believe that we are stronger together. And I also think that one of the challenges of Una, Una Europa is to change the whole Europe in a way that what we achieve inside Una Europa has great impact on the Europe as a whole and makes Europe much, much stronger. And um, maybe towards the future, we need to build a shared future. And that is what we aim in Una Europa. And I be believe that collaboration is a world changing force. And this is something we need to use among the 11 universities. Practical value of Una Europa, in addition to joint degrees, is, for example, MOOCs we have developed together. For example, sustainability MOOCs that are very soon available for millions who are interested in sustainability research and sustainability expertise around the whole world. So that, from my point of view, is something that we create for researchers, teachers, and students all around the world. And this is something we have achieved together. I want to wish Kaju Leuven researchers, staff and students a very good academic year. And at the same time, I want to wish 10 more Una Europa universities all the best to this academic year. When we were invited to join uh, Una Europa, uh, the University of Edinburgh was very happy about that invitation. It, it built on a relationship we already had with KU Leuven where, uh, and with other members of UNA Europa where we'd been thinking about joint PhDs or mobility schemes for our students and staff. And so we were already developing this relationship, but the concept of UNA Europa and our invitation to join was a very timely one because it coincided with the, the, the uh, happening in the UK of Brexit, or the, the, the departure of the UK from the European Union. And uh, the University of Edinburgh has been an international university for centuries, and we're very proud of our international credentials. Uh, but the arrival of Brexit did challenge whether we were going to be able to continue that same level of mobility of students and staff between Scotland and continental Europe. And we wanted to address that in a number of ways. And Una Europa was one of the great uh, uh, opportunities for us to think about how we could really demonstrate our credentials and our commitment to continuing to work with our European partners. I think the uh, question about university alliances for people like me is always, what can be the added value? Why is joining this alliance better than any other alliance or uh, maybe just bipartite or tripartite relationships between two, between two or three universities? And I think the answer for Uni Europa right from the very start has been that the alliance has been, first of all, formed between very like-minded universities. You can look at the strategy documents, you can look at the values and the principles of the universities and there's an, there's an alignment, I think, across the, the different nations. 
And right from the beginning, the, the uh, alliance has had real energy around uh, doing novel things, doing things that are different from other alliances. And, and one of the best examples is the commitment to uh, underwrite uh, joint degrees, of a degree, an undergraduate degree where a student can study in two or three of the member universities, maybe in two or three different languages, and emerge at the end with a degree which is common to the group of universities. So a really imaginative and, and logistically and, and legislatively quite a difficult uh, situation to arrange because there's so many requirements for different accreditation in the different countries. But this has been a, a commitment from the start and those uh, joint degrees are now taking shape. So I think there's an, that's an example of the imagination and the vision that Uni Europa and its partners had right from the beginning. We wanted this to be more than just a, a set of sleeping partners. We wanted it to be active engagement with, with one another. And uh, for us to continue to demonstrate our European commitment, continue to demonstrate the internationalization for our students and staff that is a central part of our strategy for the next 10 years, uh, this was a great opportunity. And so far, I would say that our membership of Uni Europa has been very satisfying for us. Uh, we feel that it is delivering some of the uh, hopes that we had at the outset. So we're very proud to be part of it. I would just wish at the start of your academic year to send my very best wishes to the students and staff of KU Leuven. I hope you all have another successful and happy year, hopefully free from any interruptions by the pandemic. Uh, and I hope that the relationship with my students and staff here in Edinburgh continues to be a fruitful one and a mutually beneficial one. I'm very confident that it will be. And I send my very best wishes to uh, Rector Sells and to everybody at uh, KU Leuven for the academic year to come. Thank you very much. With these 11 great universities together, there's so many things we can do. I think we really have to do a major impact in research, especially in the UNA Europa focus areas like sustainability and climate change, future materials, global health. At the same time, um, we have the responsibility and the possibility to strengthen and implement European values, human rights, solidarity, diversity, inclusion, democracy. I'm greeting you from Freie Universität Berlin and this Freie, this free in the name of our university, it means something. And I think it means the same thing to these 11 universities. So we are in a common way there, especially in these times of crisis and of war. As we are on our path together, this makes a contribution to uniting Europe making Europe a strong voice in political and society contexts, but also as a joint attractive place for research and teaching. So spreading European values is something we do as a united alliance. It's these values of diversity, of tolerance, democracy, inclusion, freedom, and together we thus face populism and nationalism together. As we're 11 universities in 11 different countries, we have all these diverse perspectives. We have different methods in research and in teaching. We share good practice, good practice in research. We learn from each other in terms of research, in terms of teaching, in terms of administration. Um, so there's so many things we do together, we can do together and thus move things together and the variety of formats that will come up and where we are on the way, they are really a major strength. Thus, we not only do things in different ways, but we can also test and offer pilot formats in joint research, in joint teaching, in various mobility programs and options between students, staff, professors at all levels. And thus, we get also more resources and power to internationalize the university, our university, your university. In this network, we grow together. It's amazing what we can do there. And it's amazing what we've already been doing. So I'm very enthusiastic about this network. Together, we can really contribute substantially to making Europe an attractive place for research, for teaching, for exchange, and thus strengthening Europe's role in higher education. And we from Freie Universität and you from KU Leuven, you all contribute to that. We are on our path together. And in that sense, 
Greetings from Freie Universität Berlin to you at KU Leuven. Congratulations for all you're doing for the opening of your academic year.